friends. Welcome back to the vlog channel. Thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to click the subscribe button. All three right there. Um, so I am doing about a million and seven things right now. I just forgot that um, the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale is going on right now. And so I went to go share that. And then I was like, ooh, I need to start my nails. And then I was like, oh, I have to edit tonight's video. I have so many things that I'm like trying to do. Probably need to just chill. But um, I am going to share a little quick drugstore haul with you guys. I found, I'm going to do it on my Insta stories too. So if you watch on my Insta stories, I'm sorry. But um, I found some stuff today at the drugstore and a lot of lip colors that I've heard good things about, but a couple repurchases, a couple brand new purchases. Um, so I'll share this with you guys in one second. But what I actually wanted to share was I am about to try these Impress Nails. Everyone keeps telling me these are the best of the best. Impress Nail Color Manicures. And I got, does it tell you what color you got? Um, I think it does. Point Pink. I'll link it below for you guys, but I'm excited, I'm nervous. I hate having to do my nails again after I just did them, but I uh, chipped them during my workout this morning, or I chipped one, and then I was like picking at it, trying to pull off that one whole nail, because I was just gonna redo that one nail, and then I ended up chipping the fingernail that I was using to pull, so just starting over. Um, so I hope this works, because I really don't want to have to do my nails again tomorrow if it doesn't. At that point, I will just go get them done. So that's kind of what's happening right now. A lot of nothing. Sam is working. We have his brother's track meet today. later today. Hopefully, I think like the weather is still okay-ish. Um, it's not great, but it's not bad. It's not raining. It's not thundering outside. So we'll see. But just wanted to tell you guys, I'm about to... There was a little thing. I was gonna say, I'm about to um, put these on and I will keep you guys updated. If you have tried the Impress manicure at all and you have any tips, please give them to me because I do not know what the heck I am doing. Like not even a little bit. Oops. Look at this light I have here. I uh, use this when I'm filming my Insta stories. Hold on, let me turn it off. Okay. So gonna run through this stuff with you guys really, really quick. Um, sorry, the angle of this is a little weird, but I'm sitting on a bar stool. Uh, so, okay, first thing, Impress Manicure. I do like it so far. Um, I've only had it on for literally like 10 minutes though, so I'm still kinda like using my nails very cautiously, so I'll see how long it lasts, but I'm telling you straight up, if that lasts for a long time, I will use Impress Nails for like ever because that was so easy. I barely looked at the instructions. I just stuck them all on my fingers after I got them, you know, like measured out. So easy. But I wanted to run through these really quickly with you guys. Um, again, if you did see them on my Instagram today, I'm sorry, or I guess it was yesterday. So I picked up, I'll go through repurchases first from CVS. Um, I got the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I use this every single day and I noticed today that I'm getting a little bit low on it. So I wanted to get one just because my brother's getting married in May and I just like, I know we've got time, but in the back of my head, I'm like, okay, I need to start getting this and getting that and getting another like Tarte Shape Tape and getting another Estee Lauder foundation because I do my own makeup for weddings. I don't, I don't let people touch my skin after the horrible reaction I had with trying to let a makeup artist do my makeup for my wedding. So that's why I picked up this. Also got the Essence Lash Princess Fall Slash Effect Mascara. Um, this one is really, really good. It is one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. So I picked a picked up a refill of that. There was another one that was sort of, okay. So this is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss with Hyaluronic Acid in the color Ice. I have this one in a taupe color now, but it is really pretty um, and mauve toned. I wanted one that was like more clear and light that I can put over my, like my lighter lip colors without it darkening it. So I grabbed this, technically not a repurchase of this color, but a repurchase of this product. Um, also same situation here, not a repurchase of this color, but a repurchase of the product. This this is actually the color Truffle, Truffles. So I have this little e.l.f. mini palette um, in a lighter color and I love it so much. So when I saw that they had the darker colors, I grabbed that. One of the colors did crack though. Um, that was my fault. I was must have been like slamming that bag around because that cracked. And then the, um, I had a, I had a um, foundation that completely cracked too and none of them were cracked when I bought them. And then the only other thing that's like a repurchase is the Biore Nose and Face Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. I've used these before. My husband and I actually both love these for blackheads. Um, I got a Ionic Facial Steamer today. I'm gonna share that tonight. I'll like do all of this and share it with you guys. Um, but it's from Vanity Planet. 
it is so freaking good. I love it. I used it this morning. I was so impressed already. It's already way better than my other steamer. I liked my other steamer, but this one just is a lot more powerful. So what I'll do is I'll steam my whole face for about 15 minutes and then I will, why am I not focused here? And then I will use, oh, it's because her face is showing. Um, I'll use this little pore pack on my nose and then my forehead. I bought two face products. So this is the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix Foundation Stick in the color Nude. Usually foundation sticks don't work for me, but I really want to find a good one. I just like the idea of a foundation stick because I usually will like have to put the product on my skin then spray with a setting spray, then use a beauty blender, or I'll have to like dump it on my hand and then I'll have to tap. And like, I feel like this just kind of takes away like all that extra steps. You just like rub it all over and it's on your face. So gonna try that. Um, also the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Contour. This is actually a concealer, but I got it in a dark color because I want to try the contour first. I hear good things about this as a concealer. So we're right on that. Um, Brilliant Eye Liquid Shadow from L'Oreal. I got it in the color String of Pearls. You put this on your eyes and it makes them so bright and pretty. I would probably never use this. They did have some like more neutral colors, but I felt like all of the colors were pretty funky. So I got the white um, and I will probably only ever use it on the corner of my eyes, not all over. It is a little bit like I'm, I'll be 26 this weekend. There's, you know, like gotta draw a line somewhere to glitter. I feel like that's the line. And then the three lip colors I got, um, the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink like gloss or lip color um, in the color Seductress. And I also got the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in the color Talk the Top, plus a flower scribble stick um, in the color Bittersweet. And this says color for eyes and lips. And that's what intrigued me because I was like, what does that mean by eyes and lips? Like you can use it as an eyeliner because to me, like that's not going to be a good, so maybe it's meant to be a shadow. All right. So I got to get going. Um, I got to edit tonight's video. Again, I'll link all this stuff for you guys. And then tonight I'm going to come back and I'll take off all my makeup. going to do kind of a self-care night. I will share the new steamer with you guys and I will use these. I will show you how they work. So I want to go ahead and tell you if you get a little bit queasy, just be prepared because these are like legitimately, I have tried so many brands of um, like pore removers and Biore is like the best of the best. It's instant. And when you pull that strip off your nose, it's gross. Like you can see see y'all the grossness. So I'll show you guys that these work, but um, right now I've got to quit stalling. I am just literally stalling to edit this video and I don't know why, because I mean, it's not that long of a video. Okay, friends, sorry. The lighting is a little weird in here and the, there's towels hanging up, but I really want to use my steamer. This is the Vanity Planet steamer. Um, I got it today and I am so excited. I'm gonna do a little self care tonight. So, um, exfoliated my face completely. Got all that dead skin off of it. So now I need to, um, I'm gonna put a little bit of steam and I don't exfoliate my nose because I'm gonna use this, but I don't know, I just don't find that it ever like does anything. The main parts that I usually exfoliate are like right here and then right here because that's where my rosacea is. So I see. I don't think it's also this robe is like so it looks so ugly, but it is literally the best robe. Okay. Oh this itch. Oh okay, so gosh so beautiful um i am going to wear this nose patch now for about 15 minutes usually mine gets dry pretty fast um i usually don't have to go the full 15 but i did the steamer for 15 minutes my skin it feels so soft um and while i am waiting for this to dry i'm going to use this lip scrub this is the um tree hut sugar lips lip scrub and it is so good my lips are in such need of exfoliating and then i'm also going to use the new face um toning device i think is actually what it's called i have this kind or this style whatever uh they have three different kinds i think one that's smaller and then one that's bigger than this one but i love this one so much that i actually went ahead and bought more gel the other day i had like some points or something at Sephora that I could use and get um, some money off. And so I went ahead and bought this stuff. It's not the cheapest, but it's not like the most expensive and it is definitely cheaper than Botox. And this stuff is, it like really works. I'm just gonna go ahead and use some of this. I've tried this on my lips before. I actually prefer it with dry. Okay. 
All right, so I actually, because I have these nails, I like couldn't use my nails to get this box open. I opened it like a freaking animal. And I'm like pissed, but it ain't a big deal. I'll just stick this in my medicine cabinet. I'm gonna use this new face. And I use this on my face and my neck. Um, I know that the other one, more expensive one, is supposed to be like, I think best for your face. Like this one just like also kind of does some parts of your face, but I like this one a lot. And I'm not an expert, but this does really work. So if I'm not an expert and it works as well as it does, we are good to go. I did medium setting last time I did high and it was way too hot. Okay, now this thing is completely hard. Oh, oh, oh my god. Ooh. Okay, this is gonna be really gross. So, like, skip like 10 or 15 seconds if you don't wanna see this, but I think you can kind of see there's like all these little blackheads down here. It's really gross. I'm sorry about that, but. It's like cool to see that it like does work and it pulls out all those blackheads and you can see, like I can see such a difference in my nose already. Okay, so last thing I'm going to do is my skincare routine. Um, since I exfoliated, I mean I use this every night, but I am gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this, oh, I got that under my nail, gross. Go ahead and put a little bit of this Laniage, Lon, Lon, whatever. I don't know what this stuff's called. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my lip. And I am making a skincare video for my main channel. I think it's supposed to be next week. Pretty sure this is what I love to use on my neck. It's very, very hydrating. Confidence in a gel lotion. It's hydro plumping, skin transforming, weightless moisturizer for all skin types. And I like this one because it really, so it says it does like 72 hours of hydration. And like it really does make everything so hydrated for so long. So I want to use it on my neck. And I'm going to put the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum on. This stuff will be, I believe it's like one of the last days. Like the very last day of Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty sale. Um, I did do a blog post on everything I'll be buying during that sale. So I will link that below for you guys who are interested in checking it out. And I also labeled what I am purchasing new versus what is a repurchase so i will definitely be getting that because i'm getting close to being out of that um but i mean also the sephora vib i think sale or spring sale or whatever that one is um it's coming up very soon too so if you do miss it on the ulta 21 days of beauty there is still time so i'm going to use the dime lash boost on my brows and my eyelashes i have a backup here recently bought two and then I had to like the timing they came in was perfect I ended up needing this one like very shortly after I got soap in my eyes when I was in the shower today so my eyes are a little sensitive right now great and then last on my face I'm going to use the drunk elephant proteiny polypeptide cream this one is so hydrating all right so I am finished here. Um, all I have to do now is I'm just gonna put on this body lotion and then I'm going to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if you are new here. Um, and before I forget, do you want to mention, I am going to be sharing the winner of the giveaway in Saturday's vlog. So if you are interested in finding out who won, watch that one and we will also announce next week's or that week's like when on Saturday in Saturday's vlog I will announce what the rules are for that vlog so stay tuned